Hello there, I'm Black Bright. Good evening, good morning, good night, depending on which part of the world you're living you're living in or watching this video from. Um, if it's the first time you're visiting my channel, please subscribe, like and share. Um, I, could, I don't know if I'm controversial. I think sometimes I can be. But most of the time, I'm just sharing my thoughts and my opinions. And I like to think that, you know, somebody out there may agree with me. And even if they don't, it's they can write their comments and we can have a little dialogue. Anyway, um, today I decided to entitle this video, Is America Full? Um, sorry, America is full. We can't accept any more immigrants. And I did that because recently um, Donald Trump has said that immigrants are not entitled to due process. And I thought that was a bit unfair. I mean, you know, to say it outright, well, actually, let me be fair. Or let me be straight what kind of immigrants he was referring to. He was referring to immigrants that come from out of the country who are applying to come into the country are not entitled to due process. Now, due process is a way of treating people fairly. It's a way that they can access the law and the laws are the, the courts are impartial and it's just really having a system that advocates for justice. So to me, whether you're a citizen of America or a citizen of the world, you should be entitled to due process. It shouldn't just apply to American citizens. That implies that, okay, American citizens, they can be um, to, um, protected by the law and go to a court and have their case heard, whereas people who are not citizen can be ill-treated and mistreated and there's nothing they can do about it. That is the implication. It's almost like they have no human rights, they don't have anything if they're not citizens of the United States. Now, I don't know how that works in the UK. Uh, we, I mean, they're very similar in terms of how each country is treating foreign nationals. That's clear. But I think that in the UK, they're not as open about what they're doing and why they're doing it. Whereas America, I mean, especially with Donald Trump, he just puts it out there. You know where you stand. So if he says immigrants that are trying to come to the country are not entitled to due process, that's what he means. He's really giving license for those who are not American citizens to be treated badly. And that is not a nice statement to make as a president. But he doesn't care, does he? He really doesn't care. I don't know why he just doesn't say America is full. We do not want any more immigrants in our country. Why do they keep allowing immigrants to go through the process and apply? If America is full and you're overpopulated and you've got too many immigrants, just say a blanket no. We don't want you anymore. We cannot accommodate any more immigrants. So don't apply. Don't try and come in. If you've got family in here, tough. If you want to see them, let them come to you. Say that. But you know why they won't say that? Because, as usual, immigrants have something that they want. If it's not labour, it's money. So they're more than happy for these immigrants to pay their, their BHB1 visa or whatever it is, B2 visa, B3 visa, B4 visa. That's fine. They want the money, but they don't want the people attached to the money. You can't have it both ways. You know me. Anyway, I'm going to read this out um, because I'm going to explain what due process is. Do you, does due process and fair treatment only apply to citizens of the country or should it apply, apply to citizens of the world? That was my question. Fair treatment to me should apply to everyone regardless of where you're from, regardless of where you live. Everyone should be entitled to due process of law. 
So, this, by Trump saying that due process does not apply to immigrants coming to the United States of America, he is in fact saying that even though an immigrant makes a legal and proper application to enter the United States, she or he will not be given a fair crack at the whip. That's what he's saying. In a nutshell. Because if they're not entitled to due process, that means you can treat them like crap. You can mess around with their applications. If they try to take it to a court of law, they have no rights because they're not British citizens. So you can take their money and you can tell them to pee off and go back to where they came from. We're not going to approve your application, but we are going to keep your money. That's in essence what he's saying, because it means that if their money is taken, there is no course that they can take, you know, to make sure they get their money back, to make sure they're treated fairly. There's nothing in place for that, because as far as he's concerned, you're out of the country and you're not entitled. So therefore, do not take the money. I've said this before. You don't want immigrants. Don't take their money. Don't take their labour. Leave them where they are. Leave them in the country that they were born in or where they live now. Bloody noise. Just leave them alone. But don't stop using people of colour. You need to stop it now. You're so established. You're doing so well. You're so affluent. You, the economy is booming. So leave them alone. Stop trying to get what you can out of them. And then you don't want them. It's really, really ridiculous. Anyway, let me read this. Um, Due process originated in 1215 with the English Magna Carta, an important provision of which was that no freeman would be deprived of certain rights except by the judgment of his peers and by the law of the land. And I ask, however, what if the judgment of his peer is biased and the law of the land is to discredit and disadvantage him and is corrupt? What then? You know, all things being equal, due process should be a fair and impartial and inclusive process, but it's not. Because a lot of people, they just do what they have to do. They have, uh, you know, people to please. You know, there's lots of stuff that goes on which makes the system and those who are in charge of the system not follow it properly. Due process entitles an individual to fair treatment. The Fifth Amendment says that no person shall be deprived of life, liberty or property without due process of law. They must use fair procedures when they enforce the law. For example, the Bill of Rights says that if you are accused of a crime, you have the right to have a lawyer help defend you. However, right of access to a lawyer is being denied, if not through the expense of litigation, then through detention, allegations of violence, terrorism and the threat to society. And that is the thing. OK, you'll say to you'll say to one of these um, people of colour that they've picked up and they're going through the criminal process, whether it's alleged, whether it's fact for whatever reason. And you'll say, OK, you're entitled to a lawyer, whatever. But the lawyer charges an arm and a leg. You can't afford one. So what do you do? The days of legal aid are over in the UK. I don't know if they have any the equivalent in the UK. I mean, in the US, where people who ha don't have a certain income can get free legal advice and support. I don't think it exists in America and it stopped existing here unless it's for family cases. Ah, oh dear. Due process includes both the right to be to a fair trial and the right to an effective remedy. Both rights are closely related. And it's protection of individual rights, 
I'm entitled to a fair administration of justice. The individual is entitled to secure justice by means of fair proceedings in an independent and impartial court who will deal fairly and correctly with any prosecutions. Doesn't happen though, does it? No person shall be deprived. That's what it says in the Fifth Amendment. No person includes citizens and immigrants, including those in, whether it's in America or the UK, with documentation and those without proper documents. It means everyone. But instead, Trump is cherry picking who he wants to give due process to, who he wants allow, who he wants to allow due process. That's what he's doing. The Supreme Court cases such as Plyler and Doe in 1982, Yick Woe versus Hopkins in 1886, wow. And Wong Wing versus the United States in 1896 all established the precedent that due process is applicable to every person in the United States and not just US citizen. But I personally think that it should not just be everyone in the United States and US citizens. I believe that due process should apply to every citizen of the world. What you're saying due process is, it's a fair trial and fair access to court and to be judged without bias. That's what it means. So that should apply regardless of where you're from, regardless of whether you're in the country or out of the country. As long as you're a human being, you should be entitled to due process of law. I don't know how you can discriminate who you allow to access due process. How can you do that? Therefore, immigrants, both documented and undocumented, are entitled to due process under the United States Constitution. But they are not getting it. They are treated like criminals, hounded out, chained up, detained without access or a trial. Technically, if you're an immigrant or anyone and you encounter any government official, you have the right to remain silent and you can refuse the search of yourself, your car or your residence. But doesn't this conflict with obstructing of justice? Because I sometimes think, you know, like when these um, police haul you out of your car and ask you all these questions, if you was to say, oh, no comment, I have the right to remain silent, they're going to say you're obstructing justice. Well, they will to people of colour at least. You know, so how does that work? I don't know. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you because I don't think we are living in a fair world. Well, we're not, are we? We're definitely not living in a fair world. So I want to do a video on um, how to determine whether or not um, you're cooperating, how to cooperate, the you're being cooperative with the police and how that translates into obstructing justice but I, I'll do that another time okay so enjoy the sunshine if you're in the UK we've got another day of it and um, if you're not in the UK I hope it's sunny where you are and I hope you've had a lovely day and if it's evening I hope you have a lovely evening that's all for now bye bye